I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a video on SN1, SN2, E1, E2 reactions. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, a professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Orgoman products and the author of the Death Destroyer book. I want to go over a really solid, challenging question that I proposed to the kids today on the Facebook study group. So come on over and let's have a look. I give you this diet. And I say to you, what kind of mechanism will it undergo if it was treated with ethanol? Now, would it be an E1, an E2, an E1CB, SN1, SN2? First of all, you can't put a double bond inside here. You would break the balance of carbon. So there's no double bond. So there's no elimination reaction period. So that knocks them out. Second, it's a tertiary. There's no way you're gonna do a SN2 on a tertiary, so that's out. So the only possible mechanism could be an SN1. And in an SN1, we first form, if you remember, a carbocation in the slow step. And notice, we have a tertiary carbocation. But. Oh, Dr. Romano, nothing good follows the word but. Well, you're right. Even though it's tertiary, as you can see, this ring system, which is cyclic, planar, fully conjugated, contains 4n pi electrons and anything that contains 4n pi electrons is anti-aromatic and because it's anti-aromatic no way in hell is you gonna you're gonna form this so the answer will be no reaction i'm very glad to see a few of the students from my study group actually got this question right so you were alert for the 4n so if you ever see a 4n on a carbon cation, run for the hills. All right, I hope this helped, and I'll see you in study group. Bye-bye.